We are still working with the Excel file from Day 2 titled Copy of Examples for Modeling Patterns. We will start with the table for Example 2. Just like we did for Example 1, we will insert a column to the left of the X values so that we can show the pattern for change in X values. So I've selected Column A. In the Home menu, I will insert the sheet column and it adds one on the left. When we go from 1 to 3, we see an increase of 2. When we go from 3 to 5, we see an increase of 2. We see that increase again, plus 2, from 5 to 7 and from 7 to 9. The X values show an add pattern. When we look at the values for Y, or values of F of X, we have a decrease of 10 as we go from 15 to 5. As we go from 5 to 19, we see an increase of 14. As we go from 19 to 57, we see an increase again, but it's an increase of 38. Lastly, we see an increase of 62 as we go from 57 to 119. Now you can use Excel to calculate those changes by typing uh, an equal sign and then taking the value uh, of the second number, in this case 5, minus the value of the number above it, and when you do that you still get the minus 10. Similarly, to get the 14, we press the equal sign, we click 19 minus the 5, and we still get the 14. And You notice that this is not a constant increase like we saw on the X values. That was a constant increase of 2. So we know that this is not linear. When it's not linear, the next thing you need to check is the second differences. To go from negative 10 to 14, let's use the equal sign. We're going to do equal 14 minus the negative 10, and we get a difference of 24. Let's do the same thing for the 38 and 14. Equals 38 minus 14, enter, and you get a note. Ooh, this is looking good. So for the last one, we put the equal sign, 62 minus 38, and we have a constant second difference. So this is a, uh, with a constant second difference, the pattern is add, so the pattern is add and constant second difference. This means that we have a quadratic function. As in example one, we want to create a scatter plot and find the equation for this quadratic function. So we have to select the table of values. I click on X, hold down my left click, and shade in the entire table. On the toolbar, click Insert. We want a scatter plot. It's the one with the dots. So insert the scatter plot. And you can see it's definitely not linear. 
we think it's a quadratic. Notice there is an icon, a plus sign, at the upper right hand side of the chart. When you click on the plus icon, we can add the trend line, but I'm going to click the right arrow and go to more options as before. This one's not linear, it's a polynomial, and since it's a quadratic, the order is 2. And if you look at the trend line, you can see that it goes through the points very nicely. Again, you have to scroll down to the bottom and see the display equation on chart. Click that, and when you do, you see that the equation is y equal 3x squared minus 17x plus 29. So this is a quadratic equation that describes the function from this table of values x and f of x.